What's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's Mike here with another video. We are going to keep talking today about Daryl Dixon, this new hero from State, uh, from uh, The Walking Dead. Um, this morning, guys, I made a video saying basically that it was a waste of money, even if you were a top player, uh, spending 100 fragments to resonate him with a legendary hero because it didn't give you any extra benefits. I said in the video, like, uh, if I was wrong, I would come out here and admit it because, of course, I want you guys to give you like good information. So the reason why I said that is because I compared just numbers. For example, the stats when I was resonating him with another hero, it was the same stats. So if I did it with Mike or Eva, it was the same. So for me, I I even attacked some zombies and the numbers were exactly the same. So for me, it was like a wow. It doesn't give you any extra benefit, so it doesn't make any sense to spend those extra fragments to resonate him with a legendary hero one if it doesn't even give you benefit with a purple hero. So I was wrong because I was just comparing numbers, but you don't have to compare to compare numbers alone because there is a skill, this one here especially that will benefit you even if the numbers are the same or, or, or even if the stats are the same it will give you some extra benefits so what i did is that i went a little bit further and i'm gonna show you here guys now i still hold my position on free players if you are a free player it doesn't make any sense to resonate him to change with another purple hero because your purple heroes are not going to be the strongest one anyways because you are a free player now if you are a top player a rally leader you will have like this max out hunter hero in the legendary hero ones and of course you want to make the most of it so what i did here to uh, go a little bit further was attacking uh, several times with different heroes and different combinations the level 30 infected zombie you have this hydra john infected zombie and you have this mega striker so what i did is that i resonated him with mike and with eva and compared the numbers and the battle details so the first thing that i that i found here was that when I was attacking Mike, I was getting 65 troops wounded, and the details here or, of this, or, or, or the stats were the same. So the stats were the same, but I was getting 65 troops wounded. Now, that's interesting because when I got like the march with the Daryl Dixon, I didn't get uh, 65, I got 60 and it was like a, a red flag i said well maybe there is something here even if the numbers were the same if you compare the numbers here they are the same but the numbers here are not the same and this is what matters because when you're attacking other players this is what this is what matters so your wounded troops and your dead troops so and if you are changing the combinations and this number change then, then there must be something there now i did it with eva too and I got with Eva 69 wounded troops and I got with Daryl Dixon again 60 wounded troops so guys there is something here and the numbers again were the same now if I go to the battle details here is where things get interesting because Eva and Daryl Dixon they have the same specialty or almost the same skill. They in inflict a lot of damage with the, uh, the first skill they have. So I compared those skills and here is where the difference lies. Because if you see here the numbers, for example, Julie Garcia killed or wounded like 2,821 troops. Emma and Ellie protected 4,554 troops. And Darryl Dixon killed or wounded 4,314 troops. Now, that's interesting because if we go to this one with Eva, you get different numbers. You get Eva killed 3,756 and Daryl killed 4,300 and something. So there is a difference there. And of course, if you are a top player, a rally leader, it will make a difference. It is the difference between getting the capital or not getting the capital, maybe just killing those extra troops. And this is about an attack. 
Imagine if you are rallying with 1 million troops, maybe it is going to make a big difference. So not only that, but the combination that I sent the Daryl Dixon with, it also got different numbers because Julie Garcia here, for example, killed a little bit more, more troops, but Emmy and Ellie protected less troops. So even if you send just Daryl Dixon, it also affects the the numbers from the other heroes you are sending. For example, your infantry hero and your rider hero. Um, so apparently it can give you some extra benefits. And of course, this is for top players, guys. You know, if you're a rally leader, max out player, it will make a big difference. But one more time, if you are like a free player, uh, don't worry about this. Now, I even went a little bit further because I said, well, maybe it is a coincidence. What about the Alliance Showdown? Because here, if you want to test your formation power, here is a, the best play you can do. You can do it because you have the right algorithm here according to the game. So if I send, for example, Eva here with Emmy and Julie Garcia and this amount of troops, I got 2,252 battle power. Now, if I change that and I send now Daryl Dixon, which is supposed to give me the same stat, where is him here? And with Emmy and Julie and the same amount of troops, I get way more here, way more battle power. I got 2,367. Comparing, comparing this with the 2,250 something that I got with Eva. So the numbers superficially looks the same. The stat, the defense, the troop attack and stuff, but that uh, skill makes a difference. And one more time, if you are a top player, maybe it would be interesting to resonate him with a top legendary hero. So maybe you can get some extra benefits. So guys, here the video, I said that I would come out here and admit if I was wrong, so I did it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course guys, just like and subscribe and see you next time.